Yo, what is up you two? My name is Aaron and today we have some cop stories uh, too. Um, I am going to tell the most interesting one at the beginning just in case I don't have time to do number two. Um, I could have like a second part to this if you guys want to know uh, what happened in the second story. But that's if we run out of time so let's get right into this. I'm just going to start off with the setting. Um, it was around 11 o'clock at night and I was in a two lane road that uh that you have to merge to go to a uh, a one lane so i was on the right hand side the right keeps going and then the left lane ends and then it merges into the right lane so keep in mind it's 11 o'clock at night it's uh pretty dark and it was just me and this other car on the road and he was driving right beside of me and the two lane and i knew that the lane was going to end and i guess he did too and i don't know if this was a guy it could have been a girl didn't really get a good look at them but um we are going, and right where the second lane, the uh, like I said, the left lane merges to the right lane, um, I guess the nice thing to do is to let people in front of you, but I was going just a little bit above the speed limit, and I didn't let him in. I didn't let him go in front of me, and, and you know, it's not like, like I said, we were the only two people on the road, right? So, I mean, he could have easily gotten behind me, and I'm going a little above the speed limit, so it's not like I'm just super slow going below the speed limit, and I didn't really see a reason for me to let him in, so... I just kind of kept going, he was trying to bully his way in front of me, and that kind of made me mad because he was getting really close to my car, and that's something you don't do if you're on the road, never get close to someone's car, that just it infuriates me because that could lead to a huge accident, we could run each other off the road, and I mean, just death could happen, especially at these speeds that we were going, so... I maintained my speed. He was making me mad. I kind of sped up just a little bit, and it made him run out of road, and he had to get in right behind me. So this already set up for some road rage, and he was just right behind me. He turned his high beams on, and I mean, just right, right behind my car, just revving his engine, getting as close as he could. I could tell that he was really mad, so I slowed down. I did a little brake check. Trust me, never do a brake check especially at night, especially on a road that no one else is on, could lead to an accident. I do take fault in a little bit of this, but I did that, and then I started going super slow. And then he tried to pass me on a double yellow, which is illegal. So, And what I was doing was legal. Everything I did was legal. So I see him do that, so I start to speed up, and this just makes him even more mad. And I know I should not have played with him, should just let him keep doing what he had to do. So I sped up just a little bit, and then he got back right back behind me again even more mad flashing his lights at me honking his horn i could hear it all and then he takes off probably does like we're in at 45 like i said i was probably going like 47 48 he takes and he just just flies right past me right and i'm like wow like why would you do this you know like what it double yellow so mad and then i get right behind him at this point he starts going really slow and I do not have normal headlights. Like, normal headlights are halogen. They're, they have, like, that orangish yellow tint to them. I have very, very white um, HID headlights, and they are super bright. I'm telling you, think about the brightest headlights you've ever seen. Mine's double that because I did take off a little limiter on my headlights to let them be a little bit brighter. Also, fog lights, same deal. Super white fog lights. Just a very bright car if you're in front of it. So all up in his mirrors and I tried to position my car where I was right in his mirror just those beams hitting him he I saw him like jack up the uh the rear view mirror so he couldn't see the light anymore he was so mad and he just just peeled off he went as fast as he could and I'm going I'm like you know it's not worth it I'm not going to go fast I'm just going to continue my speed and about that time this all kind of happened fast where he passed me and I got right behind him and I I had my headlights on him next thing we see is a cop car just just pull out and I see the lights and I'm like oh my gosh oh my gosh so I pull over to the side he pulls over to the side and then the cop just kind of like motions for me to keep going and I just pull off and it was the other guy that got pulled and I think it's because he passed on a double yellow and he was very much speeding he was going way over the speed limit and that's just kind of what happened it was very sketchy I know I messed up and I was kind of in the wrong for it but um, he definitely was. Don't, guys, don't do road rage. And for the second story, it looks like we're going to have just enough time to do the second story. Um, 
like I said, it's not as entertaining as the first one, even if it was entertaining. Um, I felt kind of like I rushed through it a little bit. But uh, the second story, actually, like I said, I had white fog lights. Now, before that, I had very, very blue fog lights, right? And I used to, um, I used that because blue lights, and especially if you have like a blue flashlight, um, it, that actually helps you track for liquid on the ground. And like if you ever go hunting, um, I'm sure someone has a blue flashlight and it helps you find blood on the ground so you can track your uh, your kill, whatever you're, whatever you're hunting. And you can kind of track it out in the woods whenever it's dark or early in the morning and you just kind of want to see where it ran off to. Use a blue light for that. So it kind of works the same way on the road, except a blue light is really, really good for ice. And I that's what I had it on there for. You guys check your state laws if you're going to put blue lights on your car. Because I do think in a few states you can have blue lights. I did not really know the law for my state. And it was kind of like a gray area because I didn't find too much about it. So um, I had blue fog lights and I just came out of like... I don't know, a 55, and I was going about 60, 70, shh, I was going way over, right, and I go up a hill, and I start slowing down, you know, going over the top of the hill, because that's super dangerous, even to go normal speed limit over a blind hill or a blind curve, so I slow down, and then I see a cop just whipping it, whipping it across the road, and like, pulling in right behind me, and just blue lights and everything, I was freaking out, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose my license, I was going so fast, so... I finally just, you know, it was kind of a dark road. I went up until where it was a well-lit place. And if you guys don't know this, yes, never pull off on a dark road. Even if it's just a stretch for endless miles. I mean, obviously it's going to end somewhere. Go somewhere where there's light and there's other people. Because you don't know in this day and age. I mean, that cop could not be a cop. It could be, you know, some sketchy person with some lights that's going to pull you over and abduct you. So I went to a place where there was lights. And whenever I got there, I was like, okay... I'm just going to turn off my fog lights because I'm pretty sure he caught me for speeding. And I turned off my blue fog lights and he came up to my window. He's like, so do you know why I pulled you tonight? And uh, I was like, uh, no, no, I'm not sure. Because that's the answer you say. Never incriminate yourself. Be like, well, I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Have you seen Liar Liar? Perfect example in that movie. He's like, uh... Wasn't where to see belt passed in a no passing lane. Just a ton of stuff. Never sell yourself out. Just kind of play clueless and uh, it'll help you guys out. So I was like, no, I don't know. And he walked to the front of my car. He's like, oh, yep, yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do know. And I was like, oh, what? And he's like, your, uh, your blue fog lights. And he's like, turn those on for me. And I turned them on. He's like, yeah, no, you can't have that. He's like, ask for the whole shindig, you know, license, registration, all that good stuff. And I gave it to him. He went back to his uh, his car typed it all in and he came back to me and uh, he's like you know I could impound your car if I wanted to and I was like oh no I did not know that he's like yeah I could see that this is your first uh, fence so uh, what I'm gonna do is you have to change your lights take it to a, a sheriff station or another cop and show them that you did it give them this they'll know what to do with it they'll check off that you changed it and you will not have a ticket you won't have a warning or anything so I did that fixed it in fact the person i went to he didn't even look at the car he was like did you change it and i was like yeah and he's like all right he signed it and sent it off so those are my two stories i know this video was very long i mean it's not too long but it's a lot longer than my usual videos but hope you guys enjoyed this story if you guys want some more life stories let me know down below and i do like telling these life stories because you know it I hope it's entertaining. I hope you guys find some funny. Maybe you guys can relate to this and tell me what you guys have had to deal with down below. So, like I said, hopefully you enjoy it. Peace. Oh, don't forget, in the description, there is a link to Fatal Grips. Make sure to use AWO for 10% off your entire order. Great deal. Great deal. They have some great stuff. Check them out. Just go to that website. Find something you like. Save up for it. Use my code for 10% off. And bam. There you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Peace.